Hi, this is Linda with Crafty Music Maker. Today is the first time I'm videoing in my craft room, or what's going to be my craft room. This is just a spare bedroom. I bought a couple pieces from Ikea, and I'm just trying to figure things out. But today is the first day I get to go back to playing hockey. And very excited since this whole coronavirus started. Um, and then of course, that means I have to wear a mask in the rink, at least until I start playing hockey. Now, I made this mask when I had to go to back to school and help collect Chromebooks. And so I made this just before uh, school that day, and uh, I've been wearing this. But for hockey, um, I don't wanna have to worry about taking off the mask, when I get on the ice and then trying to find it, getting back off. And uh, so today I'm gonna make a gator. So follow me along, it's so easy. It's even easier than making a recorder case if you ever saw that video. So never sewn before. Again, this is a perfect beginning project for you. Here we go. Here's my fabric. It's a polyester rayon blend. I like it because it's stretchy and I think it kind of looks cool. And it doesn't fray. So um, what I did to get my measurement is I took, uh, you can use a, a measuring uh, tape, of course, but you can also just use anything that is long, piece of string, whatever. And I measured from behind my neck to underneath my nose, all the way around. And that was 18 and a quarter inches. And I just measured that on my uh, board here, my cutting mat. Then um, I'm going to add a half inch for seam allowances. Now, the height, you can make it whatever you want. If you want to use it singly, uh, just one piece of material, then you, I would say maybe 10 inches. If you want to fold it in half, then I would add two to four more inches, okay? So um, I think they recommend at least double fabric for actually trying to keep the virus from spreading. Um, so, Anyway, so we're gonna do 10 inches high and 19 inches wide. This fabric is very slippery, so it likes to move while cutting. And the selvage is rolling too, so lots of fun things going on here. So I think I'm gonna cut the length first. So my mat says 29 inches there and I want 19 inches, so I'm gonna cut 10 inches at the 10 inch mark here to get the 19 inches. And because this project is not that specific, it does not have to be that exact, I am just gonna use the side here to make it perpendicular, and if it's not perfect, it's okay. So, Pretty much as straight. Actually, I can just follow the 10 all the way up. Okay, so 10 inches, or I'm sorry, 19 inches wide. And then I'm going to cut it 10 inches. Actually, I'm going to fold this up, and that way I can use the ruler. I'm going to use the 11 inch line because I'm starting at the 1 inch. So there's 11 inch, so it'll be a little straighter when we do cut it. And there we go. That was it. Now, like I said, you can fold it in half. This is the outside, and so you would want to fold it and sew it here. If you want to make it so you can put a filter inside it, um, go ahead and stitch some over here and uh or all the way across actually and that way you can stick a filter inside there and uh have even more protection um all right so what i'm going to do now though so if you do want it doubled keep it doubled um when you sew these edges together okay and then you'll have it doubled the whole time all right 
I'm going to do a single layer. And so I am just going to sew these two, the short sides, together like this. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to make a seam right here, quarter inch, and uh, let's go to the sewing machine. So here we have these edges. I want to keep them together. It's a little trickier because it's on the selvage, and that selvage is trying to roll on me. So I could use pins if I want, but I just want to get it done fast. So I'm going to come up a little bit farther, put that needle in there, put that presser foot down, and I'm going to do the reverse on my machine. I just put this, push this lever down. It goes backwards. And I'm actually using a zigzag stitch just because it is stretchy material. So I'm just doing a quarter inch by measuring it just to the to the edge of the presser foot and that's about a quarter of an inch so i'm just going to continue down trying to unroll that selvage as i sew And there we have a neck gaiter. All right, now I've got my neck gaiter made. I'm going to go ahead and make some chocolate chip cookies that my team loves so much. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. It's just a tweak of a Nestle Toll House morsel cookie recipe. And uh, I'll make those. I actually put the uh, plate of cookies on top of my hockey bag as I wheel it in. And just before I hit that door, I'm ready to go play hockey. I'll see you next time. Bye.